Sorry, stupid fucking thing. Just doesn't make sense that uh, using even infantry would be better. Alright, so that didn't work either. It was better. But you need both them horses in there. And it makes that much of a difference. Actually, you see how those infantry stayed up? That was the even infantry stayed up because I had no even horses. So let's try that. All right. I added the 10,000 of the even infantry because if they're going to stand longer with no even horses in the way, oh, I hope I didn't send a odd archer. Good. All right. So if they're going to stand longer, having a few more will give some bonus damage. That was awful. That was the worst I've done yet. Let's see why. And that time, the even infantry went down before the horse. It doesn't make sense. To the odd infantry, odd horse, even infantry. And there is no odd archer in there. Hmm. Okay. So that didn't work. So what I've figured out seems to be the best let's try 27500 1 All right, boom. I'm hoping this is the best one. This is just a little bit less infantry for more of the odd mages. Still with no odd archer, it has both infantries and both horses. No odd archer, no even mage. And just a little bit less infantry this time. And it was not better. So the 30k infantry worked the best. This is what worked out the best. Thirty K on infantry. One 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 one. It did have an odd archer in it. 
So the best one had not altered, which is still standing there. What does the odd archer change? So, there's your best one. Thanks for watching, guys. YOLO.